Once again, I'm out there making it another great day, and today I'm at Kiel's Farms. Over here in Plant City, they have a watermelon festival going on. This is the very first watermelon festival here for their farm. We're supposed to introduce a watermelon blush wine today, and we're gonna check that out, see what that looks like. I don't know, I might taste it, you never know. It's sounding pretty good. Uh, I did invite my good buddy Tampa Jay to this event. He has some other things going on right now. So, uh, he never messaged me today, so he's probably not going to be able to make it here today. But, ironically, I to get here to Kiel Farms, you have to go past Dinosaur World. And um, I haven't been very motivated lately to go to do a whole lot, but this weekend I'm very motivated, and I'm very excited to come here to this Watermelon Festival. And um, one thing that really got me moving was Tampa Jay put up, a tour of Dinosaur World, which is right down the road from here, and you have to pass it to get here to this event. And um, you got me motivated again, and I've had some ups and downs and some things going on, as you know. Um, but I, I'm making it, trying to be positive. It's really rough. I've got a good support group, but um, it just made me want to go shoot some video and go check something out and I was kind of excited when they said they had a watermelon festival going on because I've never been to a watermelon festival. I've been to a taco fest and I've been to seed food festivals and uh, a failed pie festival and I can't keep that one out of my mind. But uh, we're going to go check this out. They're going to have a watermelon eating competition and a watermelon strong arm competition and to see how long these people can hold these 25 plus pound watermelons in their hands. I'm definitely going to check that out and we're going to try to bring that to you. I'm, it's all under a tent, under a, under a tent, so if it rains, I'm still going to be able to get it. I'm going to stick around for that for sure. And I've found a couple interesting vendors here already. I've walked around, checked this place out. We're going to go check it out right now. That's the first annual watermelon festival here in Plant City at Keel Farms. That's coming at you right now. Well, I am just inside of the tasting room here at Keel Farms. Uh, we'll check it inside out just a little bit before we go out into the Watermelon Festival. It's a watermelon eating competition. And it's a pretty big place. They also have lunch and dinner, I, I believe. And they have their own brewing company called Two Henry's uh, Brewery. Right up here on the bar is Keel's Winery's Watermelon Blush, which is their brand new wine that they're introducing today here at the watermelon festival it's called watermelon blush and they say it's really good i might have to try a taste of that they do have their own brewery called two henry's and they have the craft beers and the craft hard ciders in all different flavors and i see a lot of flavors here i don't think i've ever seen elderberry cider but they have some elderberry cider along with blueberry cider you can even get farm raised fresh eggs here at Kill Farms right in their wine tasting and bar restaurant area. They have a big selection of wines here and they have a whole blueberry section and then they have their fusion wines and they have a section here for their sangrias, strawberry wine and grape wines. Very nicely displayed here at Keel Farm. Right outside of the tasting room they have an outdoor bar which is not open yet and a big stage and a big patio area out here where you can come out eat drink and have a great time and we're gonna go check out this watermelon festival. It's a good thing they have these big fans out here because I'm used to having fans around me when it's hot. And right down here is their party barn. This is the kids section with a lot of kids activities going on and they have a little hay set up over here with a watermelon behind it where you can take a picture of yourself. Some people doing that. I do like this old tractor sitting out here. It reminds me of my uncle's farm way back in Kentucky. But uh, very nice little farm here at Kill Farms here in Plant City. And yes, you can be a fruit. You can stick your head in there and you can be 
multiple fruits here. Uh, I prefer the strawberry, I believe. I found this neat. They have picnic tables right in the middle of their winery, right where the grapevines are. As you can see, the grapes right here on the vine. You can eat right in the middle of their winery here. That's pretty darn neat. They do have rows and rows of grapevines, and you gotta have grapes to make wine. And they make a lot of wine here. A lot of people have started to show up. They have a bunch of vendors out here at this watermelon festival. And the very first one I came across is absolutely nuts. And we're gonna go talk to this guy here in a minute. Uh, it's called Dsnut.com. He has different flavored peanuts. And I did try the banana pudding peanut. And it is awesome. I'm definitely probably gonna come away with a package of these. Grab a sample, guys. All Virginia peanuts, really good quality. Big deal. Yep. They tell me it's a big deal. <laughs> Dad jokes are free. Right? It's great. Is it great on salads instead of croutons? Yeah. yeah. Especially if you are watching your carbs. Yeah. Yep. Grab a sample. I do three cans for 25. Single can is 10, but with all these flavors, you're probably going to get more than one. So, what's up, everybody? Donovan with these nuts here at the first annual Watermelon Festival here at Keel and Curly Winery. Uh, beautiful day out here. Uh, we're out here tantalizing taste buds with our super tasty Virginia peanuts with flavors like banana pudding, dill pickle, cool ranch sriracha, peanut butter jelly. I mean, where are you gonna get a peanut butter jelly peanut at, folks? Right here at D's Nuts. Come out and see us, Keel and Curly Winery, first annual Watermelon Festival, tantalizing taste buds tour. Come and check us out, grabdeesnuts.com. You can also feed the animals out here with uh, some carrots and some watermelons. Even the animals out here are enjoying some watermelon here at the Watermelon Festival. As you can see, this cow is going to have a big piece of watermelon. Not only can you feed the livestock, but you can take something home to feed yourself. These are some pretty nice looking watermelons right here. Look how big those, th those bad boys are. These are some pretty nice watermelons and they have one sliced open up here right here's where you can get your brew on with all different types of wines from kill farms and two henry's hard ciders and uh, craft beers they do do winery tours right here on site at keel and curly winery here in uh, plant city and they do have the two henry's brewery co brewery company i can't even say the word brewery because I need hooked on phonics, but uh, they have a big uh, big uh, vehicle here that takes you right out into the winery. And uh, I'm not sure what these are. These are maybe strawberries, possibly, I'm not sure. I see some people down there looking at something. They have Big Mama's catering out here and they have a Big Mama barbecue grill and it's a, they're growing up some barbecue sandwiches and stuff out here and this is smelling really good back here. What do you got back here? It looks good. It smells good. Oh my. That's real pork, baby. That's some good eating right there. That's good eating. Look. Yeah. It falls right apart. That's right. You need that bark on it? <laughs> well, looky what I have found here. I have found some corn on the cob. They're growing up some corn on the cob to go with that watermelon as well out here. Well, I thought I'd sit down here at the... Uh, Hay. There's stacks of hay here that's painted like watermelon and uh, get off my feet a little bit. And uh, one of the things I was going to say at the beginning of this and I totally forgot was when I heard about this watermelon festival, I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe they were going to have some watermelon wine, of course, and maybe some old dogs, but I haven't seen any old dogs. And the reason I say old dogs is uh, there was a song uh, called. Um, Old Dogs and Watermelon Wine, and that was sung by a famous country music legend. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's on the Rando Opry, Tom T. Hall. He's from up my neck of the woods, and one reason I think of that is because my mom was best friends with his sister, Fleedra. They went running around all over the place, uh, uh, my mom and Tom T. Hall's sister. But I remember that song, Old Dogs and Watermelon Wine, and uh, so far I have found watermelon wine but um, not a lot of old dogs yet. Yet, the day is still young. 
Right here is where they're getting ready for the big watermelon eating competition here at Keel and Culry Winery here at Plant City at the big watermelon festival, the first annual watermelon festival. And I can't wait to see them get started on this. Right over here is where you register for the watermelon eating competition and the strong arm competition. And you can also guess the weight of this watermelon right here on this table. I'm so hot, I've got to the fan. And uh, it's just very hot, but this here particular industrial fan, it will blow you away. And it is feeling good right now. This patio is filling up very fast because it's hot outside. And I wanted to come in here with the fans a little bit. And I'm, we're gonna go down here in this watermelon competition. Watermelon eating competition is about ready to start. And they even have Raymond from the Tampa Bay Rays here posing. I'm not sure if he's going to be in this watermelon competition or not. So I doubt it. Well, this watermelon eating competition is getting ready to get started. And one of the contestants is trying to get a head start, I think. It does look like that Raymond from Tampa Bay Rays, the mascot, is going to enter this watermelon eating competition after all. I don't know if I believe that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to start the water money competition, the first round. We'll have them at 11 o'clock, we'll end at 3, and the final round is at 5. The winner gets a $50 gift card. When I say go, we'll start. One, two, three, go! and they're going to do it two more times today. The next is the strong arm competition, holding a heavy watermelon. That should go down well, possibly. I was talking about some old dogs. I did find one. There's actually a dog here and some watermelon wine. I found yet another old dog. Lots of old dogs and watermelon wine here at this watermelon festival. And here's another. This is like the third old dog I've seen, and uh, maybe they're getting some watermelon wine as well. Even more old dogs. This place has went to the dogs now, and watermelon wine. Who'd have thought that? At first, I thought this was, you know, construction barrels on the highway, but these are set up extra to put your drink and food and stuff on to kind of hang around and chill with the family. I keep seeing dogs now. It's just they're everywhere. There's almost as many dogs as people are. Uh, it's getting to that point because uh, they do have watermelon wine. Old dogs and watermelon wine. Some of you may remember that song. I'm not sure, but uh, this would be a great event. They should have had Tom T. Hall headlining a concert here at this thing. I have even discovered a stand. It's got some Florida honey here. Definitely a honey of a time as well as a watermelon fest. Well, I ended up breaking down. I got two cans of the banana pudding peanuts and one can of the peanut butter and jelly um, peanuts from D's Nuts. And I tell you, D's Nuts are good. I got two cans of banana because I knew those won't last. I'll eat that whole can fast, I'm sure. And it's so hot out. I got me some swamp water, and what swamp water is, is 
some lemonade and some sweet tea. And boy, is it good. This is a packed house back here now, here at the Watermelon Festival. Everybody's not just here for the festival, they're here to eat too, do some wine tasting and all kinds of good stuff. Once again, I had another great time at another fantastic festival, and this was the first annual Watermelon Festival hosted by Keel Farms right here in Plant City. They are also known as Keel and Curly Winery, where they have a large selection of wines, and they just introduced a watermelon blush wine today, this weekend, at this festival. And you can pick that up in their shop. They're open daily. They have a pub. They do wine tastings. They you come here for lunch and dinner, uh, tour their winery. They have winery tours, and they will take you through the winery and show you uh, everything and how the process is done, I, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Mr. FedEx is going by me once again. I've stopped and started on this two or three times because of the noise. You may not be able to hear that. Uh, had a little ice cream truck go by. I've had cars revving up their engine. I've had people screaming at me. Even had a guy flip me the finger. Why do people have to be like that? I don't know. I've not figured that out. Uh, I try to do positive, nice videos and they're treating me like trash. I don't know. Uh, it's just treating me kind of badly sometimes I get treated and uh, it's really uncalled for and unnecessary even some of the comments leaving nasty comments to me on some of the videos and calling me names I won't have that I will delete you you've got more serious issues uh, to deal with on your own I believe and 99% uh, uh, of everything we get on this channel is positive and everybody seems to enjoy where we go and what, what we uh, show you on this channel and I do enjoy doing that and I do make comments I do make funny comments and nothing's meant to offend anybody and there's some people who maybe they're having a bad day well I would hope you know you could make it a great day but not everybody can and um, I see from some of the small amount of comments that you're not having a great day and that's a shame uh, so once again more people driving by screaming and yelling like fools and uh, just shows their ignorance and uh, some of the comments I see right through that too a lot of ignorance in the world and uh, I just go look over it and move on and we're gonna move on to another event another festival something unique a good place to eat maybe maybe I'll have somebody along with me next time I hope so tend to do these by myself sometimes I've got used to it but it's got it's, it's so hot I didn't stick around for the um, strong arm competition but we did watch the uh one the first uh watermelon eating competition and the gentleman that won that i uh, stood around and talked to him and his wife and young son before and after that really appreciate meeting you love talking to you had a great time uh standing there talking to you here at the watermelon festival and donovan the owner of d's nuts and uh yeah i grabbed some of d's nuts and you can grab some of these nuts too at grabdesenuts.com. I got three cans and that banana pudding, peanuts were amazing. And uh, I'll eat them pretty quick because I eat them and I just want to keep eating them because they were so good. <laughs> they were just so good. But try to go out there and make it a great day the best you know how because you deserve it.